Drought and dangerous wildfire conditions go hand in hand, but they don't always line up completely. For example, a rainstorm can help a lot with one and not nearly as much with the other. Fox 13's Max Roth joins us with an in-depth look at how summer storms really help and hurt. Max. Yeah, Kelly and Bob, you know, Utah gets a lot of thunderstorms in the summer, and sometimes the lightning and thunder are all that those storms have to offer us. We'll talk about those in a moment. But first, what did we get from the storm this week? A great summer thunderstorm with a good amount of rain. This is our latest drought map. It probably won't look different next week. How do we know? Well, this graph shows Salt Lake City precipitation this year. This little blip was from the latest storm. This bigger blip was May 23rd, a good amount of rain in Salt Lake. But here was the drought map the week before that rainstorm and the week after. The drought got worse. Still, rain is good. Shelby Law will tell you she's a meteorologist helping coordinate wildfire response in the Great Basin region. We don't we don't make great strides in improving the drought during the summertime months usually. But if we don't get any precipitation during the summer, then our drought will get worse. And some places in Utah saw a lot more rain than Salt Lake City, but it won't dent the drought. It will, though, help keep fires at bay. When the vegetation is extremely dry, like we've had, your lightning efficiency at causing fires is going to be much higher than it is after a few days of, of a precipitation event. The rain changed fire prediction maps, like this one from earlier this week. The red indicating grasses, twigs, and other potential tinder up to a half inch wide were dangerously dry. But here's the map after the rain. It's not good tinder for now. Now to medium fuels, one to three inch wide kindling before the rain and after. Another big change, but the big branches and logs before and after, most of the big firewood is still primed. So a wet storm helps, but Utah gets lots of dry lightning. This map from earlier this week is meant to show the likelihood of lightning starting a fire. But the map after the rain, the rain washed away some of those red dots, but they'll pop back quickly. What we can do? Continue to decrease our human start starts as much as we can because we can't control the natural starts, and we will be seeing more of them in the next coming weeks and months. We took an in-depth look at those fire fuels earlier this week and what their conditions this year say about the danger from fire, whether it's started by Mother Nature or by something like a stray bottle rocket. Live in studio, Max Roth, Fox 13 News, Utah.